Hi Joysters, I'm Luke. You might know me from Big Breakfast on Mondays for the last six years and also here on Checkpoint, uh, which is Joy's video game show. I'm Cal Hawk. I'm one of the producers and presenters on Well, Well, Well here on Joy, which is presented each and every week by Thorn Harbor Health, uh, looking at the health and well-being of our LGBTI and PLHIV communities. Hi Joy family, Lisa Denner Daniel here. I am the host of Word for Word, which broadcasts on Saturdays. My show Word for Word is uh, an interview format where I basically pry into the lives of queer people, which is fantastic. It's a, very, it's a massive privilege to do it. Uh, my name is Michael. I am part of the Thorn Harbour Health health promotion team, uh, as well as being part of the Well, Well, Well team every Thursday evening and being part of the team on Hide and Seek on Joy 94.9. Hey, my name is Tim Little. I currently present the program Hide and Seek, our show about sex and sexuality uh, with Michael Whelan. About what makes me proud about the LGBTQIA plus community, it's our resilience. I think it's it's always about resilience, right? It's about getting up another day, even though you don't feel like it. It's about going and protesting in the street when, you know, things are bad. And I think that really came through in a big way with the marriage equality vote a couple of years ago. I remember when we were doing door knocking and, um, so we were going. We were we were going to neighborhoods that we thought were relatively safe voters, but it was about you know with the postal ballot getting people to turn their ballots in. And I remember knocking on the door for this one girl. She came to the door. She said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. We um we've we've submitted our votes." And she was she was really um, quite restrained about it. And I said, "Oh, okay, cool. Um, that's all right. We're just making sure everybody's done it. Great job." And as she went to close the door and we started to walk away, she reopened the door back up and she. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm actually like getting emotional thinking about it again. But she was like, I just want to tell you it's really important what you guys are doing. It's really important for me and it's really important for my partner. She and I like really means a lot. And so like that kind of thing where that community action is so important for people. I think that's my like fondest memory around, yeah, our generation going up and kind of taking those actions. I think it's really important. Uh, I hosted a marriage equality show on Joy called The Yes Factor. So I got to interview many wonderful people, including politicians, community members. And I also uh, put together a flash mob at Flinders Street Station, which was pretty cool. With about 50 volunteers, we uh, put on a bit of a dance for people, including a drag queen. It was super fun. Uh, Joy is an opportunity for me to literally broadcast who I am to um, the world, really. I mean, locally here within Melbourne, but also in our podcasting where, you know, listen to people from all over the globe. It's an opportunity for me to present my authentic self to the world and hopefully um, allow that to be supportive for other people too. I think having a voice, but more about what Joy does is it gets that voice into people's ears, whether that's in their cars or in their homes. It's not only just like us creating radio for our communities, but it also has this way of getting into other people. Joy means an awful lot to me. I think it's really important that we have institutions like Joy and we shouldn't take it for granted. So during Radiothon 2020, please uh, help in any way you can to support keeping Joy on air. Thank you so, so much for being a listener and for being a Joyster. Keep independent voices on air. Support Joy Radiothon 2020. We are you. Head to joy.org.au for more details.